can start us off with an uh, opening statement. We'll open it up to questions immediately after. Okay. Well, first of all, you know, I'd like to congratulate Boston College uh, for uh, the best year they've ever had at their school. Uh, Coach has been there six years. You've seen steady improvement in the team, and uh, this is by far, in my opinion, the best club they've had uh, since I've been playing against BC here at Miami. And, uh, and they had a great year. Uh, I'd like to congratulate our guys. Again, a team effort, and that's just what it takes to win. Uh, we've had, and I told them, we've had some very talented teams. Uh, it wasn't necessarily the best team that won. It was a team that played as a team. And I feel like a lot of different guys contribute to make things happen. Uh, offensively and defensively. Our defense was back today. Charlie Holstaff pitched, as I said last night. And uh, Andrew Cabasius, uh, you know, bounced back to get us started. And, and Bartow really plugged it together there. By far the most he's thrown. He's had a great course of freshman All-American, had a great year there to, to hold him. And, and then Garcia coming in to get the, uh, the, the uh, final out. Uh, a lot of guys got big hits, but not, none bigger than Edgar's, the, uh, the grand slam that uh, uh, kind of put it away, I guess you would say, at that particular point. But a lot of players had big days. If you look up and down the, uh, the lineup, and, and it was a total team effort. And very proud of them. Looking forward to going to Omaha. And uh, for the rookies, you know, you tell them what it's like, but when you walk through those doors on the field and go out at, at night, it's an unbelievable feeling. So I'm excited about that for them and for our team. Well, I mean, we had some other guys that, uh, but you know, we we felt like you know if we could get to the fourth or fifth, and hopefully get uh, Barto to the most he's thrown two innings this year, and uh, the most that uh, Garcia thrown two, and I felt like that uh, that Spanky, my man Barto, would do, could. Uh, could extend himself because he's a low pitch guy. He goes out there and, and challenges guys, gets ground balls, doesn't throw a lot of pitches, and I felt like he was the ideal guy that could span the number of innings that he threw, and uh, and he did. And uh, but I'm not sure, you know, there are other guys we would have gone to, of course, but uh, to make it happen. But our plans were some way to get it to maybe the fifth or sixth inning and get it to those two guys. Hey, hey Jerry, uh, What's going on with you now? You, you hadn't hit a whole lot of home runs in your career. Uh, junior year, I think you had hit a couple. And then from the ACC tournament to now, you've hit three huge home runs. Just as far as your power stroke, what's what's changed? Um, I think I'm keeping the same approach. I mean, I mean, I don't really know how to answer that question because you don't really try to hit home runs. If, if you ask a hitter, he doesn't really try to hit home runs. But, I mean, I guess I'm, I mean, I'm happy for it. Yeah, I mean, I, I thought that we had the, them in the, with their backs against the wall. I mean, it was full count and bases loaded, so he would, he did not want to walk me, especially me as a 9 0 hitter. So, I mean, I knew that I wanted to be aggressive with that pitch, and I got a pitch that I could drive. Your emotions? Yeah, I mean, obviously, I was very, um, very happy. I mean, I had a lot of emotions going through that at bat, and, you know, it happened. I mean, it was too loud. I mean, I really, I didn't really hear what he said. I mean, I was just, I was happy. I was screaming, let's go. And, you know, that's, that's it. I mean, it was, we just had a lot of emotions. They're a great team and they play with a lot of heart and, you know, all that. So, I mean, we both had a lot of emotions going on through that. So, I mean, it's, expect, it's expected. Do you understand why they got upset? You know what happened there? No. That was a great hit, Edgar, by the way. <laughs> Thank you. I mean, uh, <coughs> is there anything you'd want to change about the way you rounded the bases, or are you, you happy with it? I mean, I, I'm, I just had a lot of emotions, so, I mean, it is what it is. Edgar, are you kind of comfortable with, I mean, it, it seems like you've gotten a fair amount of notoriety, not just for the swings, but the immediate reactions after the swings, I guess I should say. Are you kind of comfortable with, with that? I don't really look too much into it. I mean, I know we got to concentrate on the next game, so that's all we got. We got to concentrate on. I mean, we we had a huge game today. Our team did great, and you know, we just concentrated on going back to Omaha and you know, playing Arizona. Has it sunk in at all that I mean, there, there's moments that any program talks about. This, this program obviously has had a lot of them. You hitting a slam in Game Three of the Super Regional is going to get talked about for a long time. But the realization that 
what kind of like forever moments does that kind of stuff bring for you? Not really. I mean, I haven't really thought much into it. I mean, again, I mean, we're still in the middle of the season, so I don't have time to think about all that. I mean, we, we have to worry about, you know, the next game, and that's all we concentrate on, Gino, three, everybody, all our, our coaching staff, our players, that's all we worry about and care about. Well, you were on first base line. It seemed like you were trying to get like back in the dugout right before all the problems, I guess, started. What was, what, what were you thinking or think, what were you trying to say to some captain at that point? No, nothing. I mean, uh, I'm the captain of the team, so I, I, t I take it upon myself as a responsibility to keep everybody, you know, controlled and, and things of that nature. So I just wanted to make sure that my team stayed, stayed where they had to be. And um, that's about it. There was a lot of emotion in the game, obviously, but uh, I mean, Boston College is a great team, and I love the way they play the game, really, from top to bottom. And I congratulate them on a great season because they really did an amazing job, and they, and they gave us a run for our money. You, um, so, in that moment, I mean, things are happening so fast. Can you process like repercussions? Like, you don't want to lose someone in that situation and have it potentially carry over if there was going to be a next game. Were you were you thinking at some notes or anything at all? One hundred percent. I was thinking exactly that. That uh, we don't want to get anybody out of the game. So, just continue to keep my team back and uh, keep everything under control. And obviously the umpires and the coaches did a great job of separating what they had to separate, and, and we move on. What were your emotions when you hit that grand slam? I mean, what were your thoughts when you saw that ball go over? Oh, man, I was ecstatic. I was so happy. I mean, uh, I'm so proud of all our guys. Our guys have done an amazing job from top to bottom, from the first guy on the bench to the last guy, and from everybody on the field, our whole pitching staff, our coaching staff, um, you guys is as the media, I mean, everybody, the fans, everything has been amazing since, you know, since we've been here and since the beginning of the season. So we've had.